My name is Ryan Sensor. I'm the long snapper for the uh, Virginia Destroyers. Um, my number is 49, and I'm from uh, Columbus, Ohio. I went to Ohio University. You said you're from Ohio. Yep. And uh, how, like that being a big football place, how, how did that affect you growing up and you know just wanting to get into football? Uh, it was awesome. I mean, I had always kind of wanted to be in football from a very young age. My uncle played in the NFL, so it was kind of always a dream of mine. I started playing football in second grade. They had uh, it wasn't flag football or anything. It was padded football in second grade, so it was uh, it was it was kind of fun starting up there. But it is a huge football town there, um, you know, with the Big Ten there, and um, you know, obviously two NFL teams in that state. It, it is a big it is a big state, and it's very uh, it's probably the, the the number one sport there. All right, so you know, now that we got a little background on 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 you, um, how did you get here? How did you get to you know the Tuskers and then now the Destroyers? What was your path through football to get to here? Okay. Um, well, I started out in college at Arizona State. I unfortunately had a, a second knee injury, so I transferred back to Ohio University and finished up there uh, as a long snapper. And then um, from there, I went to the New Orleans Saints and was there for camp and then um, went to the Seahawks the next year and stayed there for camp. Unfortunately, I didn't latch on there, I guess. But um, the, the following year, I got a call from the Florida Tuskers, and I'd, uh, been, uh, now I've been a in that organization since uh, since it started, so it's been it's been a fun journey. Okay, so you're talking about uh, like you know your history of the Tuskers. We know that the Tuskers before them coming to Virginia, they had a lot of success. They didn't get all the way to the championship, but they were there for the past two years. So how do you feel that's going to transfer over to this team, or is this a completely new team? Um, I mean, I, th I think it will transfer over. We ha we have a lot of the uh, core guys that we've had there. And we had a lot of we had a lot of experience there, you know, kind of joining together. And um, obviously, we made it to the championship game twice. And the last thing that we want to do is make it there again and not come out with that victory this time. So, you know, hopefully, it's third time's a charm this time. <laughs> so, what are your goals for this year, personally and for the team? I guess it's better to start out the team and then your personal. Well, uh, bottom line, our goal is to win it this year. We want we want a championship this year. And my goals personally as a long snapper, just uh, remain anonymous out there. The last thing you want to do is have a long snapper that everyone knows who they are, So, um, which isn't a bad thing. They always say the best long snapper is the one you've never heard of. So just try to stay under, fly under the radar and have good snaps this year and you know, just help, help any way I can help the team win. Okay. So how have people reacted to you coming back to the team this year, like your family? your friends and uh, maybe like the community. I know you guys haven't been here for a long time, but how have people react? Um, it's been good. I mean, I, I've had a good experience in the past with the UFL, and uh, obviously it was something I definitely wanted to come back and do this year, and I was lucky enough to get a call back from the new coaching staff, and they wanted to bring me back out, so I can't complain at all. It's been a great experience so far, and I expect nothing less this year.